If you've ever found yourself wanting to slap Ted Cruz in the face, you're not alone. Now, a neurologist has an explanation for why it's so hard to look at Cruz's unsettling face. Now, the uh, the <laughs> dude, it is unsettling. It really is. It is. It is a little unsettling. Uh, now, Dr. Sitowik, who is a professor of neurology at George Washington University, who is also a Republican, so there's no Democratic bias in in his research here. He says uh, that uh, Cruz is a brilliant orator as well as a sharp legal mind. So he already thinks very highly of him, but still says that his uh, facial expressions leave him uneasy, quote unquote. <laughs> now, uh, so. He delved into this uh, phenomenon of why we all want to hit Ted Cruz in the face, and he basically looked at uh, the human facial muscles. So we have 54 different facial muscles in our face, right? And so a lot of them, some of them are voluntary, but a lot of them are involuntary, and it kind of gives uh, you know somebody who's looking at us an idea of our personality, and that's really important biologically speaking, because like obviously you know thousands and thousands of years ago, we needed to judge a person based off their look, you know, if they were a friend or a foe and make a decision whether, you know, to fight or flight or something like that. Can now, I just interrupt for one yes. quick second there? That's why babies smile, because mm -hmm. they want you to like them and protect them from the lions. Right. So these are really inbred in, into us. And so, uh, so it is entirely possible that someone might have facial tics, and that's mm. unfortunate, right? right? Even if it's a guy like Cruz, who I don't like, right? Mm -hmm. That or the, the way that their face is structured, which would turn people either on or off. I don't mean sexually, but in terms of whether you relate to them and like them. Well, that's why uh, that phenomenon, we just talked about this on Think Tank today, resting bitch face, is I think that's why that's become such a phenomenon, because your face, people who have resting bitch face, uh, their face naturally turns a little downward, and so that mm -hmm. does turn people off, and it gives people uh, sort of implications about what they feel and and you know, their personality, which, you know, we, we don't necessarily agree with, but it is interesting. So he looked at Cruz's face. Do you want to? No, I was just going to say, resting bitch face is literally downward dog. <laughs> <laughs> the features go down. Yeah, you know, yeah I got right. you. I got you. That is, that is quite funny. Okay. Um, so he specifically focused on Ted Cruz's smile, which we can bring up again. And he said that his mouth typically tightens into the same straight line. Now, if it deviates from this, the corners of his mouth bend down, not upwards. Uh, also, the outside of his eyebrows bend down, too, when he emotes something so atypical, he says that it disturbs me. Typically, a person's eyebrows arch up, as does the corrugator muscle that furrow the forehead. Now, what does uh, a downturned face actually mean? Well, downturn expressions usually signal disagreeableness or disgust. He adds, he doesn't really know uh, what is so wrong with Ted Cruz's smile, but it leaves him cold. Now, okay, let, let me defend Ted Cruz a little bit here, uh, which is not a sentence often spoken by the Young Turks. <laughs> uh, number one, this is not a study. This is just one guy yes. who's analyzing his face. His observations are interesting, hence why we share it with mm -hmm. you. And it's almost a defense of Ted Cruz to say, well, the dude can't help it. That's how his face is structured. Uh, and it was bothering all of us. I mean, Jesus used to argue about who's got a more punchable face, Ted Cruz or Joe Scarborough. Mm. <laughs> okay, but you shouldn't punch anybody in the face. And, and in this case, uh, this guy, again, not a Democrat by his own admission, right. says, look, um, Ted Cruz is in the business of trying to get people's Votes, so he would want them to like him more. He's got this unfortunate face, right? Which is an awesome way to go. You have an unfortunate face uh, <laughs> that turns people off because of these clues you don't mean to be sending to them. Mm -hmm. These biological clues that are telling us that you're disgusting, <laughs> or that you are disgusted, and hence, wait, watch out. There's something wrong there. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't, and us being libs, you shouldn't hold. Ted Cruz's face against them, <laughs> although it's hard. <laughs> yeah, no, look, for, for me, I try not to judge people based off their look. And so for me, when people say, oh, he yeah, has a punchable face, I kind of cringe because, you know, as much as I disagree with, with where he is politically, I don't think that's how you should judge something. Just like when people talk about Chris Christie's weight and things like that, it sort of like makes me cringe. But in this case, so it's actually really un interesting that we just talked about RBF. Resting mm -hmm. bitch face this morning because uh, basically they can like detect where your different like features are on your face and how it moves with the different emotions. And for some people, it just has that sort of downward turn and that indicates uh, contempt and in this, in his case, dis disagreeableness. And so 
it sucks. It, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it sucks for him because he is trying to say things. Uh, and body language is so, so important, especially when you are doing uh, public speaking engagements like he's doing in our debates and things like that. But right. people, you know, have this biological instinct to hit him.